Okay. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about transfers and advances. We're going to go into what they are, what account codes and where to find them, how they look in the system, as well as how they look on reports. So first, let me show you how to get to this PowerPoint. On that meetings and trainings page where we registered for this, under the date and under this column, supporting materials, you can click on here and that's the PowerPoint that I'll be kind of following along with the system. Okay. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. What are transfers and advances? Transfers are the movement of monies from one fund to another, but there's no um, plans to repay that money from any revenues that they anticipate. That's the difference between an advance is when an advance is given, it's expected to, uh, to be repaid like a loan. And usually the description of the advance includes how it will be repaid with the anticipated revenues. So some examples of transfers and advances are for like a transfer, there's many times where like one class of 2022 might sign something according to the board policy or their policy that gives them permission to transfer the remaining monies on their account after all their expenditures are spent so that the class of 2023 can have those funds. Another example is like old fund balances to um, move from that fund of unclaimed funds back to the general fund. Of course, that needs approval. Or when you have a negative balance, oftentimes cafeteria funds are, or in, has a negative balance and won't have those anticipated revenues to repay in advance. So the general fund just supplement or transfers those monies to cover that balance. And then an example of an advance would be um, athletic funds. They're anticipating revenue from ticket sales, but they need to buy equipment first. So it's like an advance until the revenue starts coming in. So let's begin with advances and where to find them. The USAS manual is actually defining both advances and transfer account codes. And the system, when we go to the system, is going to only use these accounts. So the account giving advance would have a function of 7410 and an object code of 921. And then when that account, let's, I'll give you an example. Uh, the general fund, 001, is going to advance 300 athletic fund. So when the athletic fund goes to repay it back, it's going to use the function of 7420 and an object code of 7022. Now, when the general fund advanced it to the athletic 300 fund, they are, the original advance is, they are gonna receipt that money in into the 5210 receipt code. And then when the athletic 300 fund repays the general fund with the anticipated revenues, they are, the general fund is going to use the receipt code of 5220. So they all come from the USAS manual. Um, I like using this chart. It's a, a good, I mean, the manual's good, but here it is. The expenditure account that pays the, the advance would use some these two function and object. And then the receiving money, here's the receipt code. Receiving back the pay of the advance, the general fund would receipt it into this revenue account and the athletic fund would pay back 
the 001 fund out of this account. We'll show you an uh, example in the system in a moment. So let's go into the demo instance. And you can create an advance or a transfer by going under the transaction menu at the bottom, transfers and advances. It's a typical grid that you can bring more in, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna create one, so I click the create. We're gonna do 7,500 on today's date. Advance to FX. Now these drop downs will give you all the available uh, correct accounts. It'll only show you those correct accounts. So you see these aren't the correct accounts according to, we should be using 74. And it's because I, I don't have the advance button click. And I do that all the time. So if you don't see the correct advance account with the 74,921, check up here because you got to pick your choice and then the accounts will populate. Or you can search. And as you start typing, the accounts will populate. Notice there's an extra code if you use those in the district or you can sort by the description as well. Same with the, uh, we're given money from the 001. And so now I'm gonna choose the account that I want to put it in. And these are all the receipt codes that are applicable to the advances. So I'm gonna put it in 9923 Baseball Athletics and click Save. Actually, I meant to show you if, well, let me create another one and I will Sorry, I got lost in my notes. So. If you start to do an account and it doesn't, appear, I was trying to figure out how I, okay, so I'm gonna skip that. I think I'm jumping ahead. So there's the advance that we created. I'll show, open it up and show you. Now, if you were to, um, want to repay that, say you were in May or something, and the, the ticket sales came in, now we want to repay it. But we might have other advances on the grid that will need to be repaid. So how do you find those? If you go to the More button, there is an icon here that you can link the total repaid, repayable or repaid. So I guess they are on the grid. I'm gonna re reposition them. And then the repayable column, I can put repayable equals, as soon as it catches up with me. Hopefully I'm not frozen. Did that work? So here's that column. I'm going to scoot it over. There we go. Can I ask the audience, am I having troubles or am I frozen? You're not frozen. Okay, good. Thank you. It's just slow. Okay, so here's the repayable column. 
if I wanted to sort and just find the ones that are actually repayable, it would be, I would put true. And then that's, there's the advance that we just created. So I could click on any one of those that are repayable. And at the bottom, you see that down here with the uh, plus sign. And that's where you would enter your repayments. Now, you might only get $1,000 from tomorrow's game uh, revenue or receipts. And then again, the right account should pop up. And it's, it's going to repay from the athletic fund into the general fund with those receipt code and the object and function. So when I click save, it reflects it down here. But you see up here, it still is um, showing not repaid. So it's not because it's not repaid. We've only paid down a thousand. But say the next. Next week, we have another one. You can continue to um, enter. And then, the, again, I'm only going to do partial. So even when I go into it, you can see all the, re, the repayments. Once all, it is repaid, this box will be checked. So I'm gonna go into another advance to repay. And if the account doesn't exist on the system, you'll get the severe error. So what it's telling me is there, this advance to repay back the general fund doesn't exist on the system. So when that occurs, you do have to go back to the core accounts and add that account. But if you noticed, that, um, let me pull it up again. It gives you the account that you need. So as soon as you add that, then you can post the repayment. This is where I started to jump ahead earlier. Okay, so the, um, the repayment guidelines are no longer um, guided by the software. It's up to the district to know if, if it's an advance, if it's a transfer, if the advance or how the advance is to be repaid or how soon. Um, so for example, the auditor of state's office, let me let somebody else in. The auditor of state office, it, the advance will not be paid like in a reasonable time. They say it should be processed as a transfer but the system will allow you to do both and it's up to the district to determine that. Um, but the account codes are gonna be dictated by the Auditor of State USAS manual. All right. Any questions on advances? transfers. These account codes are also um, come from the USAS manual and the transfers out are 7200 function and the object is 911. For the transfer from the general fund into, we'll use the cafeteria fund as the example the money on the cafeteria side would be receded into the um, receipt code of 5100. So my little cheat sheet is when you pay the transfer, it would come out of these and the fund that receives the monies that would use the function or the receipt code of 5100. And notice there's no like reverse transaction because tra uh, transfers are not paid back. It's a permanent movement of money. For example, here to pay down the cafeteria negative balance. 
So then in the system, again, you would still be on that same menu. And you would make sure this one was chosen. And again, you guys probably know this, but it doesn't hurt to repeat. You can, if you're continually adding transfers or advances, you can click on here and this window would pop up to create the next one. Or this one, as soon as I click save, the window shuts, closes. So we're going to um, provide a $1,000 transfer to the cafeteria fund. Again, only the applicable uh, accounts are available. Can use the search button and it pops up. I click on that line, it'll populate into this account and click save. This does have to be in an open period, which is reflected here in the upper right corner. So it, it is in April. You notice that transfer does indicate that it's not repayable because it is a transfer. And then another thing I wanted to show you on this advance, even though I'm going back to an advance, here's that check mark. Here's the repayments. But what caught my eye on here was it does say true that it was repaid. That's the one that we just went into. So you can notice that by viewing, you can notice the status of the advance by viewing the advance or on the grid. And the transfers won't be populated in that column, but it will reflect false. Now, as far as deleting transfers or advances, you can do that as long as you're in an open period. And currently we're in April. And since we've been creating transactions, I know it's open. Um, prior year, the date, prior year transfers and advances cannot be deleted. So if I move the date column over, you can see that none of these can be deleted. But if I did want to delete the one that we just created for the transfer to the cafeteria, since it's in an open period, it will allow you to do that. Any questions on transfers or advances thus far? Um, the account impacts. So when you're transferring money into an account, whether it's for a transfer or advance, it is going to increase the received amount and it will increase the, uh, the fund balance. So if you were to generate a cash summary, you would see that the received amount increases as well as the fund balance. Now, when the account is repaying the advance, the repayment from the advance it would be added to the expenditure. So here's the $5,000 um, payment of the advance that is reflected on this cash summary and it's reducing the fund balance. So here you see it, the $5,000 received and the $5,000 uh, paid back leaving a balance of zero. So again, the, um, let me show you these reports. You can see, I think this is what I just showed you, the example, the expended and the fund balance. The budget summary will show the amount expended. There's another report that would show the the effects of these transfers and advances. We could run a revenue summary to reflect 
the fiscal year to date receipt. And then we have two other reports under the report manager. One's called the, um, and I am gonna go back to the PowerPoint because I can show you the difference between the, the transfer advance summary. So the transfer advance summary report found under that report manager will give you the transfers of advances in and out, the variances in this column, but it won't show the repayments. So here's the detail uh, version of this report showing each cash account. But on reports, you have that summary box checked. So this is what I wanted to show you. It's the same report, but it's just gonna show you the totals. But again, this report will not show you the repayments. Now the transfer advance detail report or activity report, excuse me, this was created to review the transfer advance activity and the repayments when legacy repayments from classic software came over and migrated. So this report is still unfortunately coded for the legacy repayments. So if you ran the report, you can see you get those, but you won't currently show the redesign repayments. So to get that, you would go to the public USAS reports library. And I'm just gonna click on here because it's under the transaction-based reports. Up above is like the cash-based reports. And it's at the bottom, transfer advance activity with repays. And what it will show you, what you can download, it's gonna pull in the redesign repay advance that are in the system. It'll show you the legacy, well, no, this one will not show you the legacy, but we won't have any more legacy repayments most likely. But until the JIRA issue is um, worked on to get the template report in the system, go ahead and go to this public shared USAS reports library, go to the bottom and then download this report. And then when you're in the system, you can import the report. And I did that already, but in case for those that haven't seen this. Oops. You would choose your, the one that you just downloaded. And it, you can re, you can name your report or tag it. And then once you save it, then it's on this, on this grid and you can generate it. Let me generate it just to for the fiscal year. So you can see now it'll show you the redesign repayments that we're, so here's the one that we did the receipt from the ticket sales that repaid the advance. Any questions on that? The JIRA issue for that, for um, updating, I'll show you the report. This one. The advanced activity is the one that's going to show you the classic repays. And until that's updated with JIRA USAS R5156, you're going to have to use the one in the reports library and that report definition. And then you'll be able to see your advances and repayments clearly on one report. Any questions? That was kind of a quick Fridays with fiscal, but that is honestly all that I've 
had today to show you. Um, maybe that's a blessing on a Friday. If there are no questions, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Hopefully the sun shows up. Shows up. It's raining here. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Thanks.